<sighs> hmm. I enter the building, relieved, but noise scowls silently. What now? That was totally unnecessary. Huh? I could have won easily if you didn't go and do that. Hey, you... Now's not the time to start acting like a little brat. Accompanied by my surprise, I feel another surge of anger welling up. Um, excuse me? But getting involved in stupid shit like that is just gonna bite you in the ass in the future. Don't you at least know that much? Those guys are something completely different. Once you're their target, they'll stick to you like a slimy natto. That's just trouble for us. Even if you didn't know that, what will you do if this escalates? It'll just be harder for us to move around. Eh. Noise faces sideways, looking grumpy. Well, he's grumpy. Does the silence mean he understood what I meant for once? I think I can see Noise a little differently now, but then I notice something. His hand is dyed red. Are you injured again? You're bleeding. The hand that I reach out is once again brushed away. Don't touch me. Noise gazes at me coldly. This guy, he was like this when he burned himself with a coffee too. But why does he hate it so much? He's usually indifferent, but he reacts excessively to touching. Is he obsessed with cleanliness? Hey, please. Let's at least stop the bleeding. He's fine. It'll bother me if it gets worse. Please just show me. I said, is fine. Show me. Let go. No way. I grab Noise's arm with no questions asked, ignoring his refusal as I draw it closer to me. If I don't do this a little forcibly, he's going to leave the injury untreated again. If you really hate it, then go ahead and hit me. <sighs> Noise seems quite angry, but he looks away and actually behaves himself. Oh. His injury is worse than I thought, and the back of his hand is completely torn. He probably got sliced by a knife or something when he was fighting the Yakuza members. That reminds me. What about the injury from yesterday? I casually look at his fingertips too. A red line runs from his middle finger to his palm. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. That's good. It's my fault he was injured, so just knowing the situation makes me relieved. Oh. I don't have anything I could use to treat the injury. Don't run away. Stay put. I released Noise's hand after giving him a warning and randomly opened drawer shelves. Ah. Inside one of them is something that looks like a first aid kit. It turned out to be a small plastic pack containing bandages, sterilization sheets, and different sized adhesive band-aids and such. This is enough. I take the first aid kit and return to Noise immediately. When I take his arm, Noise makes an openly disgusted face, but I ignore it and look at the state of his injury. Uh, looks painful. I wipe the blood that hadn't dried with a tissue. I feel a bit of pain just from looking at it. This might sting a little. Try to bear with it. I gently wipe the wound with a sterilization sheet. It will still sting even if I do it carefully. Thinking, I look at Noise's face. There are no signs that he's going through pain. His face looks calm. Is he not in pain? Or is he just enduring it out of pride? If that's the case, it kind of looks the opposite. Feeling dubious, I put the largest band-aid I could find on the wound. There. Finished. Noise looks at me like an angry child glaring at his parent and withdraws his hand. I'm relieved that we were able to avoid a situation where his injury went untreated. I sit on the sofa and lean on the backrest, feeling exhausted. Don't be so reckless. It makes me nervous. I say it with a joking tone on purpose, but I'm actually quite serious about it. I'd be afraid to see him get really hurt. Anyway, we have to start collecting information about Toei. I don't get you. Interrupting my words, Noise opens his mouth. Is this supposed to mean something? What? This. Noise stretches out his hand, which had the band-aid. Is this a myth? Is this? Huh? Merit? Ah. So there is. <laughs> Noise added some mockery at the end. If you have me, the future will be a breeze. As long as I'm useful, it's enough. 
I know he's been thinking this since yesterday, but what the heck is he talking about? I'm the one who doesn't understand. Do you even know what you're saying? You wouldn't normally do things like this without a purpose. I am a total stranger. Noise shakes his injured hand. It's like helping others. There's nothing to gain from it. It's inefficient, and it won't give you any benefits. So you're saying I have ulterior motives, and want something from you in return. Am I wrong? You are. The bottom of my stomach hurts. You're wrong. You can want to help people out of worry or other things like that. I don't understand. I can't understand it at all. Oh, or well maybe. Noise violently rips off his hat and comes around the sofa to stand in front of me. What, is he going to hit me? I try to stand up to prepare myself, but Noise's actions are far beyond what I'd imagined. Oh shit, here we go. Is something like this? Uh, uh, what? No, 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 no. What? What? What are you doing? That's weird. What is? Kissing me like that. There's no other purpose to use me other than this. Then, what is this? You were going for me. What? Seriously? Really? Is he serious? He's very serious, Abba. How the heck did he get to that conclusion? Oh, well, I don't know. A little flirting, probably. Right when I stop that train of thought, Noise brings his face closer again. Hey, wait a minute. You breath? Wait. Shut up. Mm. Uh. My head is drawn near to him, and my lips are stopped by force. Uh. I try to push him away with both hands, but he catches my jaw and forcibly opens my mouth. He puts in his tongue, and a light numbness runs down my spine. Uh. Mm. Noise's tongue rubs my palate and entwines with my own. This is kind of dangerous. Wait a sec. This is... Whenever Noise's tongue wriggles in my confused mouth, something hits my tooth, making a ticking noise. What's that sound? Huh. Uh... Uh? But before I can think any more about it, I feel something strange in my lower body. Shit. His kissing isn't especially good, but... It's been a long time since I felt anything like this, and I'm too much into it. But are you hard already? <laughs> Noise pulls out his tongue and pushes his knees up into my crotch. Him doing that actually makes me react a little bit. Only because you started doing weird things. But you got hard just from kissing, right? Uh, what are you gonna do about this? Handle it alone? <laughs> I can't help it. It's a physiological reaction. I'll do it. What? In return, do mine. No, 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 no. Wait, stop saying weird things. How? Oh. Like you doing mine and me doing yours. That's just weird. Listen. Noise with a tired sigh. You are overreacting. We are both guys. Nothing to be ashamed of. Plus, you just said it yourself. It's a physiological reaction. We are just talking about getting rid of a physiological reaction, yes? Wouldn't it be more efficient to just do it at the same time? No, 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 no. I don't understand why and how it would be efficient. What's he going on about? Is he one of those new age guys? One of those new age guys. Gotta watch out for those new age guys. Is this what younger people are like now? You are literally like four years older than him. You're in the same generation bracket as he is. Shut up, Abba. <laughs> but we aren't that many years apart, so maybe he's just weird. Anyway, I think I'll have to decline, so let me... Hey, wait! Noise suddenly pulls on my arm. I stand up reluctantly and Noise forces me to walk with him. The destination? Noise's room, for sure. 